Okay, to prove that aim assist is insane, right? So the past month, I have been playing only keyboard and mouse. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on demon level strafing speed, infinite training, and we're going to go to target switching. Now, I'm probably not the best example for the keyboard part, but I'm going to try to to my best ability to track these targets. Also, my reaction time is shocking, right? Like, I'm not even trolling now, I'm, I'm genuinely trying my best. Obviously, this is appalling, right? Now, here's me on controller with the same bad reaction time tracking a demon target. And this is just controller. I'm just holding my left stick. And the hip fire is even more insane. Like the difference is night and day. Like look at that, bro. And mind you, I am not a a grinder of this game. I'm more of like a casual player and I have near shroud level tracking just because I plugged in a controller and I haven't played on controller in months. Because the aim assist is just locking on and all I do all I need to do is do just delayed adjustments to the movement. But the aim assist is already adjusting for me, so I just have to catch up to the aim assist, which is already adjusting, like right there. It may look that I'm tracking them like really fast, but I'm really not. And also, I swear you get less recoil on controller. Like my screen is literally sticking, look. It's sticking to them. It's not letting me move faster. Okay, this is without aim assist. Okay, that, it's stuck right there, hold on. This is without aim assist, how it looks, if I just spin. Now let me go near the bots. And look how my screen just hooks. This isn't broken? This isn't broken. Alright, bro. It's literally stopping. The screen is just stopping and tracking them. And now, since, as I messaged like three times, I haven't played for like, controller for like a month. Imagine if I'm grinding this daily, right? Doing like 30 minutes of this daily. And I improve my reaction time, literally be unstoppable. Okay, so I'm going to put in some clips of me playing control yesterday on controller. I hopped in, no warm up, just to see how my aim would be. And I want you to just make notice, don't yeah, worry about the movement. Are. Just look at the aim. Just look, just focus on the aim, look at how I'm getting the kills and tell me that isn't broken. That's so busted. Okay, like, bro. That cannot be legal. Quick little side note for this clip right here. Look how much visual noise and clutter there is on the screen, yet I'm tracking him perfectly. When in doubt, just spam. In doubt, just spam, baby. That what? What even is that? Effortless. Now you're probably asking, what is the solution then if aim assist is broken? And the easy solution would be to nerf it, but I don't think that will benefit both um, both parties, the MNK party and the controller party. 
I think that every FPS game that has aim assist should have an option for keyboard players to opt out, rather opt into input-based matchmaking. And you may say, oh, that'll just increase queue times. Me personally, I do not mind waiting three, four, five minutes in queue to play a game only keyboard and mouse, meaning that I will only die to human input unless they're cheating. I am completely fine with that because I do not think there is a way to balance a soft aimbot versus human input. It's impossible. Anyways, thank you for watching. Take care.